Hello and welcome to this edition of Able Dinner on Air. Coming up on this edition of Able Dinner on Air, uh, a special live uh, show. We are focusing on the issues of importance. To we are spent, we are uh, doing the issues of importance of the school shooting that recently happened in Georgia. All that and much more when Able to on Air starts right now. Welcome to this edition of Able to on Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of um, the differently abled. Uh, we are focusing on the school shooting uh, that recently happened in Georgia um, to um, to kind of tell everybody what's going on with the school shooting uh, in Georgia. Um, uh, so what we know actually now, according to CNN, uh, a Georgia high school shooting sus <clears throat> suspect and his father make uh, first court appearance um, and they say, don't enter. A 14-year-old Appalachian school student and his father, who both uh, are charged in the connection with the shooting in the Georgia school a couple of days ago that left two students and two teachers dead earlier this week or deceased earlier this week, appeared in uh, court Friday, both declining to enter a plea the charges to the charges against them. Um, Colt Gray was arraigned in a Barrow County courtroom in uh, four counts of felony murder stemming from a school shooting that left a small community grieving. Of officers <clears throat> escorted the teenager into the courtroom shackle. His long hair of uh, his long hair obscuring parts of his face throughout the proceeding. Um, in court, Judge Curry Minglehoff uh, informed Gray of his rights and initially was uh, initially was a death sentence or life in prison. He called. Gray back into the courtroom to correct the ma the maximum penalty, telling the team that because of his young age, the maximum he could face is life in prison or without parole. In 2005, the, Supre the U.S. <coughs> Supreme Court, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that no one can put to death can be put to death for crimes committed before the age of 18. The teens legal counsel, the teens legal counsel, did not ask for bond to be set during the hearing. Prosecutors alleged that Gray fired an AR-style rifle on campus on Wednesday morning. By the way, on this show, um, I'm going to be giving you um, information on trauma and um, how uh, to deal with trauma as far as resources are concerned. Prosecutors allege that, uh, again, I'll repeat the situation, Gray, um, allege that Gray fired an AR-style um, style rifle <clears throat> on campus on Wednesday morning, killing four people, according to the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. Nine people were injured, but two of whom were shot, uh, says the GBI, Georgia Bureau of Investigation, which is the local uh, FBI. Now, I, I'm just going to give a little bit of an opinion here. Uh, don't get mad about my opinion, but I'm going to say this. All of America is watching this mess. There has been too many too many school shootings, Columbine and others. Um, we let these people walk on campuses with AR-15s and weapons. Um, 
they need to be checked at the door as far as their mental health is concerned. Too many people in this country are either not taking medication and they should, or are off their medication and should not be. So, uh, at the end of this program, I will be giving mental health resources, um, but between you and me, there are not enough of mental resources mental health resources out there um, to help with the global problem. This is a global problem. People are walking the streets screaming and off their medication. People are actually, um, you know, there are psychiatric facilities. You can actually walk in to a psychiatric facility and get help. Nobody will get mad at you if you do. Get, don't um, walk on campus with a gun. What do you do? Uh, um, President Obama, some time back, a long time ago, um, made a rule that if you get your SSI or your government check um, due to a mental health condition, you are not... I repeat, not allowed to have a an assault rifle. You're not even allowed to get a gun, a pellet gun. Um, you know, it, so something, the system is completely and totally broken. I'm not cursing, but I am angry about the way the system is, um, it, you know, this needs to stop. We cannot allow people with mental health conditions to have assault rifles. You know, um, you know. The next thing you know, somebody's gonna want. Uh, I'll give you an example. A disgruntled employee some years back in the Bronx, Bronx, New York, um, walked into a hospital. He. He quit or he got fired, and then he the next day he came back with a gun. You know, um, this is these things are ridiculous. So, this completely needs to stop. We need to get guns out of people's hands, we need to get more medication or alternative medications or alternative programs or alternative. Uh, uh, mental health situations into the hands of people who need it and stop um, letting the rich get away with um, taking money away from programs that are so sorely needed. We need to get more mental health programs, more programs for people with disabilities so this stuff doesn't happen. This is absolutely Crazy, what are we going to do, kill the whole nation? You know, uh, are people going to run around, are people going to run around naked with an assault rifle? This has to stop, you know. Um, yeah, I said naked, because that has happened before in the past too. People walk around, here in Vermont, people walk around naked. You got the naked bike ride, you know. Uh, um, people walk around with no clothes. People are homeless with no clothes. So things, things do happen and should not. Um, you know. So getting back to this, um, uh, in two thousand five, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that <clears throat> no one can be put to death for crimes committed before the age of eighteen. The Teens Legal Council did not uh, ask for bond to be set during <clears throat> during the hearing. Prosecutors allege Gray fired again an a an AR rifle on campus Wednesday morning, killing four people, according to the jo uh, Georgia Bureau of Investigation. Uh, minutes after his son was reported. <clears throat> Out of the same courtroom, Gray's father, uh, Colin Gray, was arraigned on four counts of involuntary manslaughter and two counts of second-degree murder and eight counts of cruelty to children. Colin Gray entered 
the courtroom shackled in a white and gray jumpsuit and appeared emotional throughout the hearing, rocking back and forth as the judge informed him of his rights and the charges against him. His voice broke at times as he addressed the court. Like his son, Colin Gray did not ask for bond uh, at his first appearances as he was represented by a public defender. Uh, Mingle Dorf said the father faces a maximum possible penalty of 180 years in prison. An arrest warrant for Colin Gray uh, alleges he gave his son a firearm with the knowledge he was a threat to himself and others. The family of the victims <clears throat> at the school shooting sat in the first row in, in the courtroom um, as the, uh, hold on a sec, um, let me get back to the, oh yeah, I'm sorry, um, I'm, I'm reading a teleprompter here, um, the family of victims of the school shooting sat in the first row in the small courtroom. One woman held, one woman held the doll and the Disney of a Disney character, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, and others wiped away tears. Outside the courthouse, after the hearings concluded, Piedmont Judicial Circuit Court Attorney uh, Brad Smith told reporters he he expects. <clears throat> Additional charges will be filed against Coke Gray, <coughs> uh, Coke Gray, in connection with uh, firearms of people who were who were injured during the sh uh, during the shooting. While he was in custody on Wednesday, we did not have the identities or conditions of the other victims, so we were unable to charge with those offenses, Smith said. So when, and this is coming from CNN, www.cnn.com, um, and um, so uh, Smith, when evidence comes in, they'll be, they'll be able to have a chance to heal physically, emotionally, and spiritually. We will get them any additional um uh, uh, we will get them, we will get any additional charges that addresses other victims. And a, and a, grand, jury, a grand jury has already sit, has already been impaneled and will meet October 17th, Smith said. Wednesday, Wednesday's mass shooting marked the 45th What the? Oh. Wednesday's mass shooting marked the 45th school shooting of 2024 and the deadliest U.S. school shooting since March 23 massacre of the common school in the Covenant School in Nashville, which six people died. Here's what we know so far: the teenage suspect is uh, to be tried as an adult. Coke Gray, who has been held in the Georgia Department of Juvenile Justice, um, Juvenile Justice is slated to remain there while in custody until he turns 17, despite his case being moved to the adult system, Glenn Allen, the agency spokesman, told CNN. Um, under Georgia law, the juvenile age 13 to 17 who commits a serious crime is automatically tried in a, as an adult. <coughs> Coke Gray is cooperating with investigations authority set. Um, well, let me go back to this. I'm losing my spot. Sorry. Um, 
The T. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I want to go back to the original. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Um, CNN is working to determine whether Colt Gray and Colin Gray have legal representation. Uh, and it also goes on to say Colin Gray told investigators this week he had purchased a gun used in the killings for holiday presents for his son in December 2023, according to two law enforcement sources. Um, and um, basically um, denying injured survivors are expected to make a full recovery, authorities said Thursday. While another community grieves, another census school shooting uh Investigators revealed more about the case. Um, and then basically it also says uh, the teen left his Algebra 1 class at 9.45 a.m. His, his classmate said uh, his classmate's name was Lila Saraf to CNN. The classroom doors lock automatically, and near the end of the, uh, and near the end of the class, the suspect knocked on the door and tried to come back in. Another student went and opened the door, but apparently saw the gun and refused to let him in. Um, and then it goes on to say. The suspect, Cole Gray, is uh, being held as of, uh, yes as of uh, yesterday in Gainesville Regional Youth Detention Centers of Georgia, Department of Juvenile um, Justice told CNN. He will make his first court appearance on Friday, Department Spokesman Glenn Allen said. Um, so far, the United States has suffered... So far this year, the United States has suffered 385 mass shootings according to the Gun Violence Archive, which defines mass shootings as those with four or more victims shot. That's an average of more than 1.5 mass shootings every day. Um, two 14-year-old students, Christian and Julo and Mason Skimmerhorn went to school and never came home. The shooter also killed 53-year-old math teacher Christina Army A wait I R I M I E and 39-year-old math teacher and assistant football coach. Um, his name is Richard um, Aspinwall. So. Um, and then according to um, some family members, we are truly heartbroken. And GoFundMe pages are there for people's funerals. Um, and it says, uh, according to the high school, to our beloved defensive coordinator, uh, Ricky Aspinwall, we carry you with our heavy hearts, uh, our heavy hearts, and we love you, coach. The Appalachian football posted on um, on Twitter on Thursday. Um, Arami, who was active in her local Romanian community and church, is being remembered as a hero, uh, said Father Nikolai Kiampas, pastor of St. Mary's Romanian Church in, in Dokula, Georgia. Um... And if you want more information on um, the school shooting, you can go to CNN or any other uh, news organization and um, check that out. The website of the school says um, uh, they have panic buttons and they respond in emergencies, but... Um, this is severely a big problem. So there are, there 
it are two main resources that I'm going to talk to you about in the next 15 minutes. Uh, we here at Ableton on Air are very, very, uh, very, very upset in terms of what is going on. I'm sorry for ranting before, but we need to take um, we need to take guns out of people's um, hands uh, when it comes to uh, situations like that. We cannot um, let people die in vain. Um, and there is uh, two main resources that I'm going to give you. There is a global number. If you know someone who is experiencing or wants to commit suicide um, um, or having problems and needs to talk to somebody, pound 988. I'll put that at the bottom of the screen when it uh, comes to editing. Pound 988 is a global number. This is very serious, folks. Um, suicide is rampant around our country. Um, do not put guns in people's hands. Uh, by the way, this is Freedom of Speech Television. Uh, but pound 988. And please call your local... Um, please call your local mental health organization. Here in Vermont, it's Washington County Mental Health. Uh, that number is one eight one eight zero two. So it's eight zero two 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 nine zero five nine one. Again, the local number is eight zero two 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 nine zero five nine one. www dot wcmhs dot org. Um, Washington County Mental Health. Uh, is an organization that has crisis intervention. It has many resources for people uh, to um, to have, and uh, you know we must uh, really uh, deal with that in terms of um, giving people more resources that. Uh, really need uh, resources uh, when it comes to mental health. So www.wcmhs.org, pound 988. Um, <clears throat> and um, we must, must, must um, get guns out of people's hands. Uh, 300 and something mass shootings this year. Uh, we need to stop these mass shootings. I know I keep repeating myself, but, um, you know, the NRA is not our friend. Um, we won't even have them on the show. Um, so we must um, have people call mental health organizations if they are in dire need of uh, services. So pound 988, and there's also 1-800-LIFENET. That's 1-800-L-I-F-E-N-E-T. Uh, if you are experiencing suicide, um, please pick up the phone. Somebody will be there. Uh, we cannot have assault weapons in children's hands. Um, and please, if you um, if you are in need of extra counseling, call one eight zero two 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 nine zero five nine one. And we at Ableton on Air are with the families at this time when it comes to this mass shooting uh, at Appalachian High School in Georgia. Um, and one more resource that I'm going to uh, give people in terms of resources. If you are in need of any mental health resources, please contact, uh, again, pound 988, and 
WCMHS Mental Health or uh, WCMHS uh, dot org, which is Washington County Mental Health. But if you are not in Vermont, please contact your local Board of Health and they will connect you with mental health resources. Um, you can actually, and this is very true, if you are suffering a medical or mental emergency, you can walk into an emergency room. You have to give up your keys, give up your belt, anything sharp. Um, they, they'll take it away from you. You can stay there a couple of days or do what they call a 72-hour hold. Uh, contact the New York City Board of Health if you are in New York City. And if you need any extra assistance, you can walk into any hospital. And no questions asked. They'll just counsel you. They'll feed you. They'll give you a bed for 72 to 48 to 72 hours or maybe a little bit longer, depending on what you need. So pound 988 and 1-802-229-0591, Washington County Mental Health, uh, which is in Vermont. Everybody will, uh, you know, see you and make sure you, that you're okay. And um, if you are in need also of food, clothing, or anything like that, you can contact www anotherway.org, which is in uh, Montpelier, Vermont. Another way is a drop-in center. So no one and no one will um, <clears throat> will get mad at you if you need extra resources. And contact Washington County Mental Health. They have a new program called The Hub. It's called the Montpelier Hub. So if you need help with food stamps, if you need help with clothing, if you need help with any other doctors, if you don't have one, you can go to www.wcmhs.org um, and also um, through Central Vermont Medical Center, you can contact um, uh, the Montpelier Center for Integrative Family Medicine. They will help you. Um, it's on, uh, it's on um, 156 Main Street. So www. Uh, uh, C, C, um, Central Vermont Medical Center dot org and um, Integrative Family Medicine. Again, I'm Lauren Seiler. Please, we are with the family at this time um, with, uh, with any resources regarding mental health. 802 229 0591 WCMHS.org. We must get the guns and assault rifles, AR-15s or um, any assault rifles. Do not give anybody an assault rifle. I do not give permission for anyone to get an assault rifle for the holiday season. Please, we must stop that. Thank you. Um, this has been a commentary uh, regarding the school shooting in Georgia. I'm Lauren Seiler. See you next time. Please catch my live show, Able Then On Air, live. Um, this was a special uh, Able Then On Air Facebook Live, and also we're here at Orca Media. Um, but uh, please, call, please go to www.orcamedia.net and please uh, also catch my live show, um, at www.airedoutvt.com. That's www.airedoutvt.com. Uh, we must stop these mass shootings. And um, I'm Lauren Seiler. See you next time on the next edition of Abled and On Air.